are you up to? It has to be something sus. His headlights are always off. He's just being a good neighbour. <laughs> I found him with his pants in the front seat, brains in the back. The clockwork killer is back. I'm Barbara. He invited me to the movies. Taking a night off from his otherwise busy schedule of prowling. <laughs> Let's be nice to Chris. He's a nice guy and we're in the middle of nowhere. Here's the both of us getting a bit of sleep tonight. You should definitely go to the cops. Hello, officer. I know who the killer is. We share a hedge. So, what have you guys been talking about? Sleeping. Murder. Murder. Oh, nice. They get weirdos on these cases all the time. Hey! And I'm obviously not that. No. Is it just about you not liking Chris? Oh my God, he kills people. I understand you're trying to be vigilant, Amy, but just so we're all clear, there is no one in that shed or that house. I need some kind of concrete evidence. Let's do it. Do what exactly? <laughs> Seven people are dead. If we do nothing, it's eight. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can live with that. But I can't live with being right and not doing anything about it. Okay, this is not a normal teenage dilemma. 